next speaker. Our next speaker is R. L. Mitchell. Good evening, Council. Again, uh, about this 480 uh, franchise about peoples in Flint. There's a conflict about this, like I was saying about that color TV. It wasn't my TV. It was a, a guest of mine who wanted to live with me until she get her own house on Section 8. But the very next day, the government gave her some kind of device to hook up, just a little hook up, and she get every channel that French Fry had. That's what I'm talking about when, uh, when, when that cell phone stuff come in, too. My neighbors, they thought I didn't know how to work it, so I told them to use my cell phone. They won't keep it and use it to call Comcast. And that's how, and another thing about these inspection. The inspection wanted to inspect my house, but the landlord found out. He asked who did it, who let the inspection in. The inspection said the house is not fit to live in. But as a citizen, I'll go along with the, I didn't complain, but that what you call slum landlords, I guess, because I moved in under the, under the, the contract talking about he was rebuilding it, but I said it's all right with me, but I lived there so long, the city hall then got replaced my house with another one. But the same problem is in that house, because they left a big TV in there, like I said. It is always, if I take action with this, with Scott Kincaid, what he talking about, trying to be attorney, it all over the whole council, but I let Scotty do what he do best, tell y'all, you people what to do, just cause Miss Galloway talking about it's not no racial stuff, but certain neighborhoods like Scotty neighborhood got the best cable in Grand Blank stuff, talking about Grand Blank, you don't go in Grand Blank, all that junk. So I went out to Grand Blank, I was waiting on the bus, a little a woman of color asked me, can I help you, sir? I said, give me a glass of water. She went in the house, I walked out to the next bus stop. Eight policemen checked me, and talking about, uh, give me your identification. I reached for my wallet, they all them pulled a gun on me, and they said, after they looked at me, they said, I've asked you not to come back out here in Grand Blank, never in your life. That's been 20 years ago. But my partner, Steve McLeave, went out there. They got the right one. There are police out there and up for some junk. And all the people's out there, too. You got that? He's in junk.